the Financial Services Innovators, FSI, and when we say they collaborate with other sponsors, organize one hackathon groove. When we say they call pay, as you know, for young Niger developers, to give better matter to know who they do what they do for the financial journey body. A talk talk person, Nemi Adekombe, it bring us more yarn. Internet fraud is a global problem, and in Nigeria, many are falling victim of different scams, especially within the banking system. In light of this, Financial Services Innovators, in partnership with Sterling Bank and other sponsors, organized a pay-as-you-know hackathon for young developers to come up with sustainable fintech solutions to curb identity fraud. The idea of the hackathon is to help foster the innovation of the young tech developers. It's important because we believe that it's also going to accelerate employment in Nigeria. Tech is the future, as we all know it, right? In Nigeria today, over 70% of the population are millennials and they are tech savvy. What we have done is to create an environment, an enabling environment for innovation to try and also to empower fintech startups. That's the essence of FSI. A hackathon in particular, such as this one, is very important because we're able to bring in um, young minds from around the country to tackle um, particular problems that we see in financial services. Instead of having just who we think are the financial services experts work on them, because good ideas can come from anywhere. The inspiration behind this project was born out of the need to solve the crisis of financial identity fraud. The major problems that we have in the financial sector is the problem of identity and um, identifying who the payer is and also who is receiving the payments. Um, also understanding the, um, the link between them and that's why we have actually developed um, APIs to actually resolve most of these problems. Can these solutions created by these youths drive a change in the financial industry? I have absolute confidence uh, in the innovators um, who are here uh, to come up with solutions that can actually perhaps introduce new paradigms or new ideas for how uh, these problems uh, can be solved. And I'm sure once you walk around and talk to some of the teams, you see some of the brilliant ideas that they're already starting to work on this weekend. And that's generally the idea. And the beautiful thing about us bringing this group of people together is that it's not just the ones that you're seeing here at NG Hub in, uh, in Lagos, but it's a distributed hackathon across the country. And these are young people that leave this identity fraud problem every day, so they understand what the issues are, and they're also being connected to national infrastructure, as well as telecoms infrastructure that can help them to build the right kind of solution. So I have absolute faith that they're going to be able to come up with some impressive stuff. Will the solutions they develop be sustainable towards putting an end to the scourge of financial identity fraud? Will technology finally put an end to this battle against fraudsters in Nigeria? The future seems hopeful. For Plus TV Africa, Nimi Adekombi.